Spike Jones and family. Well, hello, Ralph. How are you? Good. Hello, Ralph. Hello, Helen. Hello, Spike Jr. Say hello to Ralph, darling. How are you, Spike? Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to present Mr. and Mrs. Spike Jones, Helen Graco, and Spike Jr. That's a lot of talent. Oh, isn't it? he's loaded with it. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Ralph, I'm awfully glad you got over because you promised you were going to show us some old time screen snapshots, right? Yes, there's one that we made about 12 years ago with uh, Ken Murray as the MC, and I know you'll enjoy oh, it. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's look at it. All huh? right, now if you look over there to Eddie Klein, he'll start the projector. Start it up, Eddie. Go ahead. Ken, we're rolling. Oh, hello, folks. I'm Ken Murray, ready to take you for a roundup of sports for screen snapshots. The reason I was picked for this job is that I'm quite an athlete myself. I exercise for hours on end. <laughs> Boy, is it uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, I just came out of the steam room. I was there for four hours, and when I came out, I was so weak, I went to raise the shade, and I went up with the shade. <laughs> what? On with the sports. Now, what's your favorite sport? Maybe uh, tennis? That's tennis? No, no, no. Tennis. Here it is. I was out playing myself yesterday. <laughs> Look at that racket. But of course you know the most important thing about tennis is a crowd. There should also be players. Here's Lester Stofan, Paulette Goddard, Judy Garland, referee Doug Fairbanks Jr. Ronald Coleman with glasses on. Ronald Coleman with glasses off. The very latest thing in molars, modeled by Mickey Rooney and Rudy Valley. Paulette Goddard serving the ball. Judy Garland returning the ball. Lester Stofan returning the ball. Bill Tilden returning the ball. Judy Garland returning the ball. This is what is known as returning the ball. And here's a fascinated spectator. Judy Garland with Garland of Roses. Mm, pretty good gag. <laughs> well, I guess not. Charlie Chaplin. And there's Batten Barton, Durston Osborne. No, it's Stolfin, Rooney, Tilden, and Ballard. <laughs> Just forgot to take the cover off my binoculars. The rooting section, Boris Karloff and Alan Mowbray. Paul Lucas in a $2 seat, the capitalist. Tilden serves, Valley's pressing, but it's Rooney who wins the two bits. How do you like that? You take the high court and I'll take the low court and I'll get the two bits for you. Matchmaker Reginald Owen. He holds the two-bit purse. And now for some of the finer points in golf. One of the most intricate shots is knocking a ball off an alarm clock. Very simple. <laughs> Notice the perfect timing? This club is a present from a fellow in Notre Dame. <laughs> Notice the South Bend? Sorry, bud. But folks, the most important thing in golf is a crowd. Now you drown. This tournament is between Richard Allen, Mrs. James Ferry, California State Women's Champ, Peggy Graham, Los Angeles Women's Champ, and Jimmy McLaren, Ring Champ. The Navy's along to get them back to the clubhouse in case of a fog. Dick Allen tees off a vicious swipe. Peggy Graham tees off, a vicious a swipe. Miss Virginia Gray roaring over a Ken Murray gag. Mrs. Ferry tees off in one. There's that man again with his navigator. He must have got off the beam. If you can putt like this, people will applaud like this. We're going to talk about some uh, sports, I think, isn't yeah, that, Ralph? Some pigeons. Uh, pigeons? We, yeah, we're going to see them mean? a little later. Well, they were racing pigeons. They used oh. to name them uh, after famous movie stars. Oh, that's very interesting. Is mm -hmm. that how Walter got his name? And well, Billy Dove? Uh, I, I wouldn't know. You they, never Billy Dove. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll tell you oh, that... Uh, Spike does. Do you remember Billy Dove? <laughs> no, you don't. But you knew someone else. Oh, Admiral Byrne. Oh, Admiral Byrne. That's right. No, these uh, <clears throat> these uh, pigeons were named after famous movie stars. Uh, well, Wallace Beery was a big pigeon, and Mickey Rooney was a small one. Yeah, and there was Charlie Chaplin. Uh -huh. He had a little black market. Walked like a penguin. Mm -hmm. like a pigeon, huh? Well, now if we look at the screen, Eddie is going to uh, start the projector again. All right, Eddie, Eddie go fine. ahead, Hi, Junior. Hi, Junior. Uh, Give me a dollar. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
All right, now you watch the screen, Will, while we, the pigeons are going to come out. There they are. Pigeon racing is a very dangerous sport. I once knew a man who got kicked in the head by a pigeon. He never recovered. Finally wound up as a radio comedian. What am I saying? Here's June Dupre, releasing Mickey Rooney. Get on your marks, get set, and run for your lives. It's a pigeon blitzkrieg. And now a few tips about polo. You know what that is, golf on horseback. It's very simple. You get on a horse and off you go and then you get on again. I'm quite a polo player myself, you know. I was playing last Sunday and the other team was plenty scared of me too. I was riding down the field and one of the other players hollered out, watch out, that mallet head is loose again. <laughs> Funny thing, I didn't even have a stick in my hand at the time. <laughs> but uh, you know, the most important thing about polo is a crowd. The game starts with a parade. A few substitutes. The polo players line up around referee Jack Holt. The players are Big Boy Williams, Paul Kelly, Charles Farrell, Tim Holt, Aiden Roth, Walter Wanger, and Frank Prezaki. James Cagney, Chester Morris, in on a pad. Jack Holt takes on ammunition. The younger stars are represented by Jackie Cooper with a girlfriend. Heel, toe, and away we go. They're off to a fast start. These experts give a demonstration of polo as it should be played. You can have your old polo match. I'll take Loretta Young and Joan Bennett. Good polo, fast polo, Marco polo. Look at that career horse showing off in front of a producer. Gene Herschel, Dr. Christian. If a player breaks his leg, he's here to shoot him. Akim Tamirov, Mrs. Tamirov. It's a box of Tamirovs. Big Boy Williams with a face full of California dew. Presented by Paul Kelly. Great game, Tim. Who won? Here's who won, Joan Bennett's team. The lucky players received their trophy, silver plates. I got a silver plate myself. My dentist guarantees it for six months. <laughs> and now I'd like to say a few words about swimming. Here's a gruesome little model that covered 1901, two and three, and practically everything else. I'd like to say more about it, but I'm liable to pull a bloomer. <laughs> Sorry, bud. This, uh, this is the 1920 droop. This is all wool. <laughs> Confidentially, it shrinks. And this is the 1940 model. 